it's always a good idea to put some black cambric underneath there. It makes it look nice, it looks more professional. And then also, you know, if you do have kind of stringy fabric and stuff, and that hangs down, that can look unsightly. The cat wants to play with it, etc., etc. So there's a little function too. So we're going to take some black cambric. And it's very inexpensive. We sell it here at Fabric Farms Interiors. And I'll be right back with some black cambric and we'll finish. All right, the we're going to take our black cambric now and cover that up. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take our black cambric and we'll fold it under right here. And we're going to place it right here. Staple. Um, Staple. There's a hole right underneath this one. It's right here. I'll just take this pen here and kind of poke it. Poke it. So I know that there's a hole right here. Now the other holes are over on the edges. Okay, so we got two staples in the back. Now we're going to come over to the front. And you can trim out a little excess if, it, if you got too much. We're going to come over here to the front. We're going to fold this over, fold it down and under. There's the rough edge, but I fold it under. And pull on it just a little bit so that you create some tension like that. And I'll put my two fingers here and I'll put two staples. One, two, right there. Okay, so it's secure in the front, secure in the back. I know that there's a staple hole right there. Okay, there's also a staple hole right here. So I could take my pen or a pin or something and I'm going to find that hole, which is right there. And I'm going to go ahead and poke that through. See that? I go over to the other hole, which is right here. Poke that through. Okay. Then I've got this hole here in the front. Take my pen, poke a hole there, and then poke a hole here. All right, so I've got a hole here. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go to the side. We're going to fold this under right here. Pull a little bit. And we're going to put two staples, one, two, between my fingers there. Come to the other side. Do the same thing. One, two. Right, now we can come to our front corners. Just pull those at a 45 degree angle. Put a staple there. Do the same over here. Put a staple there. Now on the rounded corners, you got. It takes a little more work. You got to right. fold it over. Oops. Okay. So you can see it's sticking out a little wide there. We're gonna fold it under here maybe pull a little bit put a couple staples there all right see how that's sticking out a little bit so just fold that under that's sticking out just a little bit okay now we need some staples in the front so almost done but again we know there's a hole here here and here it's a good idea to put a staple on either side of that hole that way when you put your screw in it if you don't do that uh, the the fabric is kind of loose and it can catch on your screw but if you put a staple on either side usually you won't have any trouble like that okay you can check it and make sure all the um, staples are laying down flat if they're not, you can grab a hammer or something, tap them down a little bit, but that feels good. Right here is a, another screw too, so it's not a bad idea to put a staple right around there. Now all you have to do is screw this back into the frame, but let's take a look at it. There we go. Isn't that beautiful?